Hi, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. I have a question from Emily. Emily says, I keep hoping my boyfriend will change. My boyfriend of six months has become emotionally detached. He has hot and cold mood swings. He's aggressive when he finally wants to be intimate and he never talks about a future with me. How do I get him to show interest? He wasn't like this in the first few months. This is so common and I think what happens is people go in so fast now. When they meet somebody that's great, they just jump in. They go, oh my God, I finally met someone who's really cool. This is awesome. And they go in with all, you know, all everything ablazing. Well, this can be a problem because what happens is you jump in so quickly, there's no room to, to get upset or to get to know somebody or to anything like that because everything's so great. You need to spend time getting to know each other. Now, if this guy has jumped in and given you everything all at once, Emily, he's gonna probably freak himself out and pull back and that's probably what's happened here. It was so good in the beginning and then all of a sudden he goes, oh my God, what have I done? I'm now in a full-fledged relationship. I wasn't really gonna go here in the beginning. I'm here, now what do I do? So then you get the hot and cold moments. And this is quite common. This happens with both sexes. What I suggest that you do here is not push the envelope with him right now. It's still only six months. Slow things down a little bit. Make him feel like it's more comfortable that you guys can just spend time together, but doesn't have to be all the time. Don't put down too many expectations and don't worry about him talking about a future quite yet. When it's right, it will flow into the place it's supposed to go. But when you start getting to the point where you start feeling antsy and oh my God, things have changed, oh no, and you start freaking out about everything that isn't happening, that's when it deteriorates you want to step back a little bit. Take your expectations off the table because six months isn't a long time right now. This is make or break time. So this is when you have to be really careful if you want the relationship to go, what, what direction you want the relationship to go in. A lot of people get very anxious really quickly and they want to know where they stand, where they're going, boom, boom, boom. It's not the same anymore. Things have changed. I think the big problem too is a lot of people want instant gratification. They want things just to be boom, perfect right away. And I know things are tough right now with that. So when you do meet somebody, you just hang on a little bit tighter. But if you hang on too tight, it does push people away. Give them a little bit of space maybe, do something with your girlfriend and don't text them 25 times in a day asking them what's going on and because that will turn somebody off. You want them to know that you enjoy being with them but you have your own life too and let him feel he has his own life. And then when you're together, you can't wait to see each other. He's probably just feeling a lot of pressure right now because you're feeling pressure within yourself because you want answers but you don't need to know them right now. So slow down a little bit, Emily. Enjoy what's happening. I'm sorry if he pulls completely away, but know for next time with somebody else that you don't want to come in and have these, this pressure build up because you want to enjoy your time and get to know each other on a nice, slow pace and go into each step as it should go. Don't have these astronomical expectations that you want everything to happen right now. Thanks for writing, Emily. Keep me posted. I'm dying to know what happens here. And uh, thanks everyone else for listening and tuning in today. And please subscribe to my channel here at Dear Cyber Sue. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.